Gidjantif, Gidjantif, Gidjantif. We're here in the Rebbe Shkone. Samachto b'chagech, over in Yisach Sameach. I don't understand really many of the questions that I'm asked because uh, I learned that I've and uh, he taught us the Indian from Kabbalah Soil. Uh, Kabbalah Soil means uh, being as this a soldat from Rebbe, uh, uh just to do in a warm, positive, bottom kind of way. And uh, when we say today, a says may chuva be a marcano for Svein of the Savers of Chios, that we have schus to be involved in the Rebbe's in Yonim, to be involved in the Rebbe's Orchem, Mina Orchem. And they, they once asked, Why are you so nice to Rabbi to Rabbi Vislavsky? Why are you so nice to the French people? And the answer is because the Rebbe liked the French people very, very much. And uh, Baruch Hashem, this goes back to the Baal Shem Tov, and to the Alter Rebbe, and the Heilige Magid, that used to walk from the other side of Russia to foot and go from town to town. There was no texting, there was no WhatsApp. The mothers, the daughters, the kids, the parents had no idea how safe they got there. But that was the nourishment, and that was the Tehidus Asamim, that we are here today, that they paved the way by going early regal zayin to the rabbeim, to the nesim, that gave us the the mesides nefesh of the, the merits to uh, to do what we're doing. And as we grow older, and we look around the world, and we see the the havas yisrael that people have to the rebbe's kids, to the rebbe's shluchim, to the rebbe's chesidim and the Terebbe's Balabatim because what we possess is uh, the Indian of Mesiris Nefesh and Emes was the Alter Rebbe give out Emes and he lost 50,000 Chassidim because he looked for Emes and the Mesiris Nefesh that every single one of Russia went through persecution over 100 years to be who we are today and the real ingredient of this is really how is Chabad doing what they're doing because there's really one word and the word is fabrengen, that we fabreng every Shabbos, we fabreng every Shabbos mevorchim with the Rabbeim Nesim from Meyasid Given to do, gave us the fire in the heart and the mind. And different times in life, uh, we have different energies and different walks of life. Uh, but as a Shevet Chabad, we should never forget who we are and who we represent. And we represent the Rebbe, we represent the Rebbe's mother, but today is Mav Tishrei, and what Rebbe Levi Yitzchak gave us the Ge'en Yankev. And the Rebbe stands for Malchus and stands for Archava. And time of World War II that we hear there was Tiflis, there was all sorts of sicknesses, and the houses were all open to feed the people. And my uncle, Feta Herschel Slavins, his parents, kept the house open and fed people. And even though he lost a daughter to Tiflis, he still fed people because there's nothing like feeding people. And it's not only feeding people, it's the Rebbe's Archim, the Rebbe's Shluchim. I was in Brinois where the Bachim washed floors, did laundry, kosher, kosher the chickens. There was nothing they didn't do to Abikum and Sam Rebbe. And the, when the Rebbe paid for all the half of the tickets from the Tishrei before, so I saw how important that the Rebbe spent all this money to give the Bachim and the younger light that came to the Rebbe, half a ticket, and the Rebbe the Rebbe watched the dollar. And uh, in the most beautiful, warm way, at the most beautiful Yechidus, as a 15-year-old boy, and 16-year-old boy, 17-year-old, we stand in the dollar damas from Friedrich and Rebbe, and from Rebbe, and we should know that we go to the Rebbe 
and oil, and we bet nachas from the kinder, and we bet for parents, and we bet for loved ones to have kids, and we have for shaduchim for our loved ones, our friends, and we have to understand that the Rebbe's archim are the Rebbe's kids, and the door must stay open. And as far as Corona is concerned, I lost a father, and he didn't die from Corona. He was murdered in the hospital with all the Gedeshim, with all Sadiqim. And Corona could be treated with prevention of oils and regular oil. With Rabbi Dr. Feldman told me Shabbos, oregano oil, three drops and four ounces of water, you drink it. And I have a list of oils that it's important that people not to go into fright. You can purify your home by boiling hot water with a pot of the oils underneath it. I asked my wife to text me all the names of the oils. And this is not voodoo. Take every day Zenic, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K, essential oils, it's called essential oils. Take internally four drops, organo oil, a half a cup of water to rub over the hands and face, eight drops of lavender tea tree, Esk, uh, I'm not pronouncing it right, and three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And all these oils are prevention. And the only ones that we have to be afraid of is from the Eivishter, Yiddish Shemayim, and Havas Hashem. And if you have a Havas Hashem, you have Yiddish Hashem. And if you have, the most important thing to go into this Yontav is Hamachta Bechagecha Vayisach Sameach. And by doing Simcha, the ultimate Simcha, when you have Simcha, you have Havas Yisrael, or the other way around rather. When you have a Havas Yisrael, you have Simcha. When you have Simcha, you have everything, you have healing. You have the fuwa, you have everything. And we go to the oil and we daven chagamatzas, we chagashuas, we chagasukus, we lo yero as pene shem rekab ishke matnas yodoi, kevirkas hashem alakech ashen nosan lach. So I want to thank Hashem for giving me this chus that my parents gave me, gave me and my brothers and sisters and all the people that are participating. It's not only my Rabashkin here, there's many, many people that are shutfim in this and uh, the most beautiful way and uh, giving me tremendous chizik. There's a story about putting up the sukkah nest by itself, but it's not for now. We'll speak a little later on about the nest gadol ha'yasham, and she continue to be a nest gadol ha'yasham. And it's really ganz lebavitz, zed bam rebim shchun lept. Das esta chosid, das lofta chosid, und das ibi yem na chosid. And uh, my brother-in-law asked the Rebbe how I'm a kind of my brother to Yiddishkeit. And the Rebbe used one word, varimkeit. Not preaching, not talking down, not educating, just varimkeit. And this is in the Lamets in the 70s, Kalbuchema today. And we should be warm to one another. And even though we might not agree to one another, but remember one thing, the Rebbe is our father. And we say every day, Vaminu Bashem of Amesha Avde. And if you believe in Mesha, in the Abish, you believe in Mesha. And the Rebbe is the Nasi of this generation and all generations to come. Ad Bias Mashiach. And we should know who we are. And we are the richest, richest, richest Shavit. No army in the world possesses the Rebbe Shluchim. No army in the world possesses the Rebbe's Balabat. Because where he may be, he can be in Hong Kong and China. France or in Russia. His business meeting is 15 minutes and our next hour is all about the Rebbe and the, it's all about the Rebbe. The Rebbe's philosophy, the Rebbe's Chabad houses, that it's a Chabad house is a home for every Jew to walk in and to be healed and, and, and nourished organically in his mind because the most important organ in our body is our mind. As we grow old, it's not the physical, it's the mind. You are where your mind is, the Baal Shem Tov says. And when you learn Chassidus Tanya, your mind is purified and straight, and there's nothing like Tanya. So I want to wish everybody a good yontif and invite everybody for to come to the sukkah, to say L'chaim L'vracha, to bench each other, to bench the end of this epidemic, 
and the most important thing that we should have the scholars for them and we should have Mashiach take with me at Mamish take with me at Mamish now the Matama Sar of Twachim and all our loved ones should be here with us and all the Chsidim and all the Rabbeim and all the Nasiim to be because the Rebbe is proud of every single one of us what we're doing uh, how we're doing the Kai. So uh, let's do it together as a the Rebbe's philosophy, I once wrote in Tigris Kedish when I had the Havas Yisrael in my basement and I saw the Chazan walking with the Sefer Teda into the Lady Shul and I was froze. And I went to the oil and I wrote to the Rebbe and the Rebbe opened Tigris Kedish and somebody wrote to the Rebbe about he wants to daven Nusachari in the Shul and there's a whole argument to daven Svard, to daven Ashkenaz, or daven Nusachari. And the Rebbe answered, Godl Hashalom. I never said nothing to them about bringing everything to Sefer Teda or whatever. And because the Rebbe is holding it is Godel HaSholem. And we see in life that Godel HaSholem brings out the Simcha. When the Simcha, Efen Zechnaya Tzenedes, Efen Zechnaya Mazolos, Muzayna Chidish Azel Achem, this is the Rebbe's bracha he gave me many years ago when I was 30 years old. So it's for the Efen. Thank you.